Chewbacca, you, you kept that a good secret. <laughs> let, let, me, let me say this. Uh, I hope everybody's enjoying themselves. Uh, and thank you for the award. But I, I would like to say that, uh, and thanks for those kind words. But let me say this too, because this is what most people don't see. I'd like to share this award with my wife. And I'd also like to share it with the wives, Adama Afrika, Brother Andre, and all of those who have men that are out front. Because y'all don't know what they go through. They give up us for you. My children, my children growing up, they all here. My children, would y'all stand up? Come up here. Come on up here. Show them to come up here. So I want to show you something. It's my oldest here. I got two boys and two girls. Two, my son, oldest son. You come baby. <laughs> and, and Brainiac. Yeah, he's smart. He's just smart. Let, me, let, me, let me say this to you. you know, I've been fighting for our people here in Crittenden County 24 years and most of their life. What they know of me is reading some book on the internet, writing some court papers, they go into the park, I'm at home, mm -hmm. trying to help some of you. Mm -hmm. So, we sacrifice. My wife sacrificed. You don't see that. Adama, a freak sacrificed. Yes. When her husband took this job, y'all took, we took her husband from her. Mm -hmm. don't, you know, you don't see this, brother Andre, Muhammad, his wife, the wife, the children, sacrifice for this. Let me say this to all of us. Everything that we've ever wanted to change in Crittenden County, Arkansas, and in West Memphis is already in your hands. It's already there. You have the power. You got white supremacy can't rule except it rule through surrogate black. You got six blacks on the city council. How many of them here tonight? Anybody? Mm. Peter Johnson is in six blacks on the city council. Mm. You got to get rid of them. Mm. Let me say this. I'm not all, you know, politically correct. And from this point on, I'm not going to be. If I ever was. Okay, because the way I feel right now is this. If you don't want me, then I have to shake the dust off and move on. I gave up my family, somewhat, for you. You, you don't, you know, I don't know whether you appreciate it or whether you even care, but I'm, I just want you to know that. Lorenzo Parker, Vicki Robinson, and all those on the quorum court with me are no good. They can't represent you. They may be your friend. But I'm sure you got friends that you know that shouldn't be in leadership. You got to separate friendship from business. Lorenzo Parker has to check with the mayor before he can do anything. So does Stacy Allen. Shabak Afrika ran against Tyrone McWright, a known drunk. Y'all know this? Y'all know this. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you much rather have him? Yes. To look out for you, look. Black Lives Matter. It's on the front of this magazine. Mm -hmm. But guess what? When Deontay Farrell was murdered mm -hmm. in 2007, yep. who, who was really responsible for that? Wow. Mm -hmm. No, they didn't pull the trigger. But you had blacks. Six blacks on the city council that created that atmosphere for us to be killed. Yep. So you wonder why I say the things that I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Because if one of mine go down unjustly, I'm gonna light it up. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just telling you. I'm just telling you. And you should feel the same way. But.
your black leaders is, are getting you killed, are getting us killed. Because they don't hold anybody accountable or responsible. So they go in our community and do anything that they want to do with no accountability, no penalization. That's why they don't do it in other communities because there's penalties for that. How many times, or when the last time you heard of a black officer killing a white unarmed child, man, woman, or child? Don't happen. Because there's penalties and we know it. The school district, West Memphis, over 90% black. Mm -hmm. Gary Mason running out, we got $50 million at his disposal to do whatever he wants. Mm -hmm. Do that make sense? No. I'm glad we gathered here today, but let it be this way when we go to the polls and when we meet him to talk about the issues of our community. There's nothing really I can say that ain't already been said. I'm telling you, you got to get rid of your these Uncle Toms, uh, Sambos, Cones. And, and Shabbat is right, you should not be offended when I say that, unless Okay? Remember this, the truth is never stagnant. As I was talking and teaching my wife, because that's what good men should do, we had a conversation, I said, you know, the truth is never stagnant. It never sits still, that's why it can't be lukewarm. It either promotes something or demotes something. So, if you love the truth, mm -hmm. then you shouldn't be mad at what I say or what Chewbacca says. Mm -hmm. Help us. Mm -hmm. That's my plea. Help us. Mm -hmm. You got children? Get out and vote. Tell your children to vote. Mm -hmm. But separate. You may, you may like James Pulliam mm -hmm. as a person. Mm -hmm. But you know James Pulliam ain't no good. Mm -hmm. I mean, you got to know that. I mean, but I'm serious. But y'all know that. Separate friendship from leadership. Business from friendship. It may be your friend. I got friends that I know wouldn't be good in leadership. But they still my friend. They may be good at something else. Am I saying something wrong? No. Shabaka, I don't want to take this. It's your program. Okay. Well, I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to uh, repeat that. I think everybody understood where I'm coming from. I'm tired. I shouldn't have another 24 years to be saying the same thing. We need to be in charge. We need to be in power. And you cannot get in power with James Pulliam, mm. Lorenzo Parker, mm. Vicki Robinson, mm. Lorraine Robinson. Yeah. Mm. Come on now. You may like her, but you know she's insane. No, 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 I'm not, no, wait, 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 seriously, seriously. I'm not, I'm not trying to be funny. And I'm not even really, I'm not trying to be de demeaning. But I'm telling you the truth. Telling you the truth. I got an election coming up. Why am I saying these things? I'm making people mad. People gonna run against me. They gonna get me out. Well, that's what you go for. See, I don't care. I'm gonna tell the truth regardless. See, if I was politically correct, I wouldn't be saying this about other political officials when they can gang up on me and get me out. There you go. There you go. But I'm telling you something, we need power. Period. Period. Let me say this, I'm gonna say one other thing, then I'm gonna mention the hospital, I think you want real quick about what's going on with the hospital, but white people have all of the same negative pathologies that black people have. They have envy, jealousy, greed, fear, all of that. They have it all. They, they say dumb blondes and 
the, the Irish white man is the lowest white man. They have all of these things among their own people. But you know what they are first? What? They not Christian, Muslim, Mason, Delta. What, what's the other one? Dallas, all of they not that first. Black people are everything but black first. That's right. It don't matter. This is why Keith Ingram mm -hmm. can come up to the courthouse, cuss Woody Willis up one side, down the other, but they'll join together to stop me. Because they white first. They're protecting white privilege and white supremacy. They're pragmatic. See, I don't, I mean, Mr. Uh, Norman that just spoke, very good. Yeah, everybody was happy and clapping, feel good. But sometimes you have to sit and think. Put the emotion to the side, sit and think. Seriously, think. Hospital, let me say this real quick and I'm gone. There was an issue, um, I talked to the people from Amiris about three or four days ago, and there was an issue about what the tax money could be used uh, for. And that's what they was looking for, some legal clarification before they could come in here. They wanted to use some of the tax money for salaries for the employees. Well, state law won't allow that because it's public tax dollars used in a private venture you can use it for supplies and, and equipment and other things like that, but not for salaries. Mm -hmm. I just told you, uh, y'all may have seen in the paper about suing some, uh, I think Lorenzo Parker brought up a lawsuit, he wants to sue a mayor's. Well, that's not a solution to the problem. I put forward the solution is that we stop looking for renters for the hospital and the county own and operate the hospital itself. Mm -hmm. That's what they're doing in Mississippi County. Yeah. They have two hospitals that's owned and operated by the county. They just have a management firm. Mm -hmm. yeah. And let me say this. Uh, I'm going to put that plan formal before the quorum court. But watch very carefully. Vicki Robson is going to be against it. Mm -hmm. Lorenzo's going to be against it. Mm -hmm. they, I'm, I can predict them because I know them. Mm -hmm. And you know them too. But the most sensible thing is, we need leadership right now. Just tough leadership, make tough decisions. And right what we got now are people that can't lead. All that need to happen is this. Ask the voters, go back to the poll. Yes, ask them again because we need a hospital. Uh, Mr. Wolfenden just told me, you don't know how many people are dying just trying to get to Memphis in the ambulance. I talked to Andy Tecito who's over uh, who's the owner of Lifeline uh, Ambulance Service, same thing. You don't know how many people are dying just trying to get to Memphis to the hospital. If we come back and vote for a tax one more time, take this tax off, because if we have to, take it off, vote for it again, but not to let someone else come in here, so that the county can own, and the employees will be county employees. That's just tough decisions. You know, when it's tough times, you have to ask somebody to make tough decisions. They sitting up on the court talking about, well, we didn't ask them to vote, come out and vote twice. What are we going to do? <laughs> you ask them to come again. But you have to have a plan for it. Mm -hmm. Let me say this to you. If we have some victories at this next quorum court election, we get some victories. I'll be honored to be your next mayor. Yeah. That's what you need. Somebody that's going to put you first. Because we got 75 years, well, more than that now. When I was on the city council, we were 75 years as a city. But you got 900 years, 300 years, 460 years of being neglected and disenfranchised. You need somebody to put your interests first that you know got a track record that'll do that. Mm -hmm. Thank you for listening. Here you go, Thank you, y'all.